Hey everybody, what's up? It's Steve, Sleepy C from rcgroups.com and today I'm pretty excited to be talking about uh, the Freefly Systems M5, the movie M5. Um, it's a three-axis handheld gimbal that is easily converted to multi-rotor use and it is one of the easiest to set up, easiest to adjust gimbals I've ever used in my entire life. After a full winter of messing with a lot of the Alex Moss based gimbals where PID tuning takes hours and setup takes hours, you can have this out of the box and ready to use in about 15 minutes. It has so many features and it's so well thought out. Uh, Freefly Systems, the same company that developed the Synstar line of multi-rotors, has been around for quite a while. Um, to this day, Synstar is known as a high-quality multi-rotor producer. Some of the best movies that you've ever seen with aerials in them have all used Synstar products. Early on, it was the two and three axis servo-driven gimbals, and now they've stepped into the movie range. Uh, originally, the movie 10 came out, which was $15,000, and many of us just looked at it as a dream rig. This one came out, the M5, and it's $5,000. It's set up for more of a DSLR kind of a camera situation, so there's many independent producers out there that can now afford this, and also aerial artists like myself. Um, and the funny thing is, is that I was very, very, very interested in the aerial aspects of this gimbal, and was like kind of like, ah, eh, about the handheld. But when it came and I set it up, I found that there were so many shots that I could do now with the handheld uh, version of the M5 that I've become completely enamored with the handheld gimbal. Um, Literally from taking this out of the box, balancing the camera will take you about 10 to 15 minutes the first time and much less after you get used to doing it. And then setting it up. There's no PID tuning, there's no crazy GUI. It's a simple slide until the motor buzzes on that axis, back it down 5 to 7 points, and you pretty much have your base tuning. As you can see here, I turned it on a little earlier. The camera's, camera is completely stabilized. And then it's set to majestic right now. Um, horizon hold, but see if you turn the thing this way. It slows it down just enough to make it smooth, and you can wiggle around, and the camera's not going anywhere. So, and it does a really nice job. Um, when this came a few weeks ago, I took it out of the box, balanced the camera, and I took it down to Joe Nall with me. And the following video you're going to see is uh, what took place down there. Most of it was shot with the movie, and I literally had 20 minutes of setup time. And so, I'm, as I'm getting more and more used to it, I'm definitely learning how to use it better. But you can literally take this unit out of the box and use it as a handheld rig. Uh, to convert it to multi-rotor, you do have to purchase a separate kit that's about $300. It comes with the landing gear and a different back pole. And the whole unit at that point with camera, lens, etc. weighs between 7 and 8, seven and a half pounds. So you're going to need a fairly substantial rig to fly the M5. But I think anybody that's going to be attempting to fly this is probably aware of that and they're going to have the proper rig for it. So I'll get back into the multi-rotor side in a minute, but for now, go ahead and check out the video that we shot at uh, Joe Nall using the M5. Thanks, guys.
Thank you.